Ever wondered which FPS booster actually gives you max FPS and low ping? In today's video, we're putting block strap and void strap to the ultimate test. We'll see which one makes your game smoother, faster, and lag free, so you can dominate every match. So let's dive straight into the video. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to use full CPU power. To turn this feature off, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run box. In the box that appears, type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open a new window called Local Group Policy Editor. This tool lets you control hidden Windows settings that most users never touch. On the left side, click through the folders in this order. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Power Management. These folders control how Windows manages hardware performance in the background. Now, look at the right side and find Power Throttling Settings. Double-click it. A new window will open. Inside, double-click the option called Turn Off Power Throttling. This option tells Windows to stop limiting your CPU speed. Choose Enabled, then click Apply, and finally click OK to save. Once this is enabled, Windows will no longer reduce CPU power during gameplay or background tasks. After you do this, Windows will stop limiting your CPU in the background. This allows your CPU and GPU to run at their full strength all the time. It means smoother Roblox gameplay, higher FPS. Step 2. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Sometimes Windows parks some of these cores to save energy, but this can slow down games like Roblox because not all cores are active. To fix this, open the Unpark CPU tool from your FPS Boost Pack. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator to make sure it has permission to make changes. Running as admin is important, so the tool can properly control your CPU behavior. When it opens, you'll see a list of all your CPU cores. If you see the word parked, that means the core is currently turned off. Parked cores are not helping your game at all. Click the Unpark button, and the tool will wake up all your CPU cores so that your processor can use its full power. This means all the cores will work together, which makes Roblox and other games perform much better. Once all cores are active, Roblox will run smoother, FPS will go up, and you'll experience less lag, especially in big games or crowded servers. Step 3. Best Block Strap Settings After the new update to boost FPS in Roblox, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now, let's focus on Block Strap, one of the best launchers available for Roblox. Even after Roblox's recent update, it provides many settings that help you load Roblox faster, play smoother, and lower your ping. Start by downloading and installing Blockstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it's installed, open it and click on Configure Settings. You'll see different tabs that will go through one by one to optimize everything for maximum performance. Taking time here makes a big difference in FPS stability. In the Integrations tab, turn on Enable Activity Tracking in Discord. This will show what game you're playing in Discord, but it doesn't affect FPS. Next, turn off Query Version Location. This checks for updates in the background and can cause slight slowdowns during gameplay. Keep Don't Exit to Desktop App on so Roblox starts quickly without delays. This reduces startup time and avoids unnecessary reloads. In the Bootstrapper tab, enable Prompt on Conflicts when launching another Roblox instance. This will prevent crashes if Roblox tries to open twice which is very useful for multi-instance users. Turn off background updates to avoid CPU spikes while playing. In the Mods tab, set mouse cursor to default to help with smooth movement and reduce lag. Turn on Use Old Avatar Editor Background to lower GPU usage in menus, and you can also turn off Emulate Old Character Sounds for a slight CPU boost. In the Engine Settings tab, turn on Allow Block Strap to manage fast flags. This helps improve both stability and performance by letting the launcher control internal Roblox optimizations. Now, adjust the following settings for optimal performance. Anti-aliasing quality, MSAA. Set to low for a big FPS boost. Preserve rendering quality with scaling. Turn it off to reduce lag. Rendering mode. Set to automatic so block strap will adjust to your GPU. Texture quality, set to automatic or low for low-end PCs. Finally, go to the Fast Flag Editor, 
which is the most powerful part of Blockstrap. Here, you can apply optimized performance flags that will help Roblox use your system more efficiently. Click Import JSON, paste your fast flag codes, and press Save to apply the flags. After adjusting all the settings, click Save to finish. Now, Roblox will run faster with higher FPS and less lag thanks to these settings, even after the new Roblox update. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Boost Roblox FPS using Voidstrap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. After the new update, Roblox removed many optimization tools, but Voidstrap still works perfectly for FPS boosting. Let's test and set it up properly. Voidstrap is currently the most stable and safest launcher available after the patch. First, download and install Voidstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once installed, search for Voidstrap in your Windows bar and open it. The launcher is lightweight and does not inject anything unsafe. Go to the Settings tab. You'll find options like Player Message Logs, but those don't affect FPS much. The real power is in the next few sections that focus on performance and system efficiency. In the Deployment tab, enable Multi-Instance Launching. This lets you run more than one Roblox game smoothly. Also, check out Cross-Game Teleportation. It allows fast switching between games. Both of these make Voidstrap more flexible than Blockstrap. Then open the Modifications tab. It's similar to Blockstrap, where you can manage your mods folder and turn on older sound or visual settings. Older assets use fewer system resources and improve FPS. Next. Go to the Fast Flag Editor. This is Voidstrap's most powerful feature. It shows green check marks for preset flags and red X's for custom ones. You'll also see buttons like Copy All Flags, Find Flag, and Import JSON. Click Import JSON, paste your Fast Flag codes, and hit Save. These tell Roblox to use your hardware efficiently, unlock higher frame limits, and reduce lag. Finally, open the Fast Flag Settings tab. It has pre-made optimization profiles. You can enable them instantly without typing anything. These presets automatically reduce ping, boost FPS, and improve smoothness. Voidstrap also includes appearance and shortcuts tabs like Blockstrap, plus a new AI chat feature that helps explain flags, still in beta, but very cool. After saving all changes, close the launcher and start Roblox with Voidstrap. You'll notice Roblox runs smoother and your FPS stays higher even in big games. Right now, Voidstrap is the safest, strongest, and best FPS boosting launcher after the latest Roblox patch. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to make your GPU respond faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. The MSI Utility V3 tool helps fix this by improving your GPU's response time and reducing delays. Open the MSI Utility V3 tool from your Boost Pack. You'll see a list of hardware devices. Find your GPU NVIDIA or AMD Radeon and check the box under the MSI column next to it. Next, set Interrupt Priority to High. This tells Windows to give your GPU more importance than other parts of your system. If you see your Intel integrated GPU, you can enable it the same way. Click Apply, then close the tool. From now on, your GPU will communicate faster with your PC, making Roblox render more smoothly. You'll notice better FPS, fewer frame drops, and faster visual response during gameplay. Step 6. Make your PC start faster by turning off extra apps. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. 
to open Task Manager, then click the Startup tab. You'll see a list of programs that open when Windows starts. Right-click on the apps you don't need at Startup, like Spotify, Discord, or other background tools, and select Disable. This stops them from running automatically. Once done, restart your PC. Now all the settings we changed will take effect. Your computer will start faster, Roblox will run smoother, and your FPS will stay more stable.